Uh, this is the uh, precipitation gauge. UBCO's Matthew Bourbonnet is heading up a weather station project that involves the City of Kelowna, BC Wildfire Service, the province and Rogers Communications. They were interested in understanding how you know, a telecommunications company and telecommunications could be used, and cellular networks specifically, could be used to understand, you know, wildfire risk and, and support wildfire management. So we, over the preceding years, have worked on this system that basically uses uh, low-cost sensors, uh, which is essentially a weather station. So we're monitoring things like temperature, relative humidity, precipitation, and wind, and those kind of things. Weather stations like this one have been deployed all across the Okanagan and into the Kootenays. The idea is to create a network of low-cost weather stations that will help to fill the data gaps and help predict the likelihood of wildfires. That information will then be shared with their partners like the Kelowna Fire Department. And so getting real-time weather data, uh, fuel conditions, uh, soil conditions, um, real-time, you know, not just at one location, you know, up in Rose Valley or out at the airport. We can deploy these weather stations, you know, around the city in areas that we, you know, are more concerned about what the conditions are like right there now. In a season like 2023, when we had hundreds of fires burning across the province, how do we use, you know, different sensors and different information to understand, you know, what fires are going to be a problem, which ones might not be? So, you know, if you have these out and you're understanding your risk in like the Okanagan Valley, are there sp spots in the valley that are giving us more issues in terms of high wildfire risk and what do we do about that? And that can be, you know, more, more fuel thinning, more prescribed fire, working with First Nations on cultural fire, those, those solutions that let us get ahead of the problem. You know, with the climate change that we're seeing, rain now seems to be very, you know, sp um, isolated. You can have a torrential downpour here on Enterprise and get nothing up in the mission. So these weather stations will give us a good indication of what we're actually seeing for moisture and precipitation. The stations run off batteries so they can be deployed in remote locations and can last up to five years. There's no technological solution to wildfire where it's like, hey, if we just did this, that would be it. Like, you know, fire is such an important part of our ecosystems. The type of fires we're seeing nowadays are far more aggressive than we even saw, you know, a decade ago. So, you know, Working across organizations, working with universities, um, I think that's how we kind of get to a, a, a point where we're using technology effectively to kind of manage wildfires. This unit may not look like much, but at 20 times less the cost of a weather unit compared $20,000 to $1,000 for this unit, it provides the data and the information that professors and wildfire firefighters need to battle wildfires. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.